When I'm young, I'm fighting for, I want to beat someone up. <laughs> when I come to the know, the age, I fight for my weakness, laziness. <laughs> for me, if I'm stop, stop training, it means I stop learning. Every day morning, 6.30 to 8 o'clock, uh, usually around 12K or 14K. Uh, between 3 to 5, I do my back work, hard work, physical strength training. <laughs> then evening, I do one before I'm sleep, I do a little bit of qigong. I'm quite happy to training because it makes my mind uh, more concentrate and at peace. Some people, they say I love martial arts, but they, they always find excuse, don't do it. I always tell my students, if you love martial arts, martial arts is hard. You have to make your training become your habit. You know, if you don't training, you feel no good. It looks like positive drugs, medicine, they make you happy. When you finish training, you make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> when I start Shaolin is because my brother came to Shaolin Temple first. In two years' time, he, be, he became famous because he started to do the sensual uh, fighting. Everyone knows Shifu Yanzi. That time, he's my hero as well. And uh, I learned a lot of things from him. A lot of traditional techniques, a uh, lot of traditional forms, sensual fighting. I'm a good student because I always want to learn. So I go to different schools to learn different martial arts. So now, me with my brother Shiv Yan is completely different. I'm more, I mix the, I mix the traditional and the modern together. I like to teach young kids in China, but it's really hard to teach in the West. West people, you need to be polite, and you can't touch them, you can't rule to them, you know. If, for me, it's really hard because I don't have a lot of words. I don't have a lot of polite words to show what I want. I love these young kids because I see, you know, 30 years ago what I look like. And uh, when I'm through the martial arts, if I'm lazy, teachers beat me up very badly, you know. I hit them, I want to kill them, you know. <laughs> but I have to say, I got a lot of, lot of benefit for the, for the teacher that when they beat me, because I'm learning, because I'm suffering, so I get, I get memory. This is my home, you know, original home I grew. I was born here, I grew up here, so you can look the round, you know, look at Gubi. The every day I go somewhere, it's really hard, always by your feet. But this kind of location make me have the strong willpower because I get things not easy, so I always push at what I have. So it's 20 years later, this place looks the same, still the same. No, not 20 years, I think it's 46 years. I'm 45. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm asleep here. <sighs> Every time I come to my hometown, it gives me a lot of positive energy because they remember me, make me remember what I come from. When I'm 10, about 11, I watched the Shaolin Temple movie. 
I think it's, it's amazing, you know, people can do this. Since that time, I want to change my life. I want to run, running out, running out of this village. Seven kids, I'm the youngest one. I never have new clothes. Ever since my sister, they can't wear, you know, too, too small for them, they give it to me. So I dress, I sometimes I dress like a girl. It makes me, sometimes they kill my confidence. My parents, they, they believe uh, you need to go to big school, uh, university. So, you know, you go, you go to university, you change your life. But, uh, you know, it's too long, you know, for me it's too long to go to university. It takes a long time to go to university. So I just want to reach my dream now. So I tell my parents, I want to go to short time to study. And they say no. I say, Father, please let me go. So I, I keep this position for all night. But my father still said no. That time I'm so angry with them. I just run away. I just said I want to go. I just run away to the temple. This reason I got a very strong character. So people, a lot of people, they, they don't appreciate what they get. They always open the big eyes, say, I want to get this, I want to get that. They never appreciate what they have now. You have this, this is wonderful. Depends, depends on your attitude, depends the way you're thinking. It's good because I have nothing. So when I come to UK, I say, just need to be, yeah. do what you want. You have nothing to lose. What's it? I come back. Nothing to lose, yes. <laughs> What's you come back here, then? Yeah. Here Please don't make me so sad. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. No, no, no. I'm fine now, I'm fine now. Just I'm too emotional sometimes. Yeah, stay like this. Because I want you to stay like this. For me, all my life is fighting. But I'm fighting for meditation, fighting for peace, fighting I can't control do the things. Liu Shuvianli, sometimes I do drink alcohol, I eat meat, I go to the I go to one daughter. Sometimes I say rude words, yeah, when I'm losing control. Sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm, I'm unhappy. Uh, I don't want people to choose me like a hero. I'm I'm seeing you. I have a lot of problems. This reason um, I'm fighting. This reason I want to use my life, use my story to to show people, you know, real Yanli, what real Yanli is. Beautiful. Okay, finita. Here potentially could be the most beautiful pictures. Drop it! Drop it! Finish! Yes! Beautiful, beautiful. Now. Shasha, oh. push Fighting meditation is not just meditation. A lot of people think meditation, meditation just sit somewhere, you know, cross your legs, you know, sit here, breathing in, breathing out. Meditation for me is your life, your whole life is meditation. You, you, you need to get discipline. Don't let your weakness win. It's the most important thing. Stay negative is easy, stay positive is difficult. My parents are alive, so I, I always thinking why I'm, you know, born this poor, very poor family. And uh, when I do some naughty things, my father always beat me. So I don't understand why they don't have time to talk to me. 
before I'm the, in the UK, my mom always asking money. You know, he think I'm the I'm in the UK, I can make a lot, lot of money. So I save some money for her, I send to her. So when I make my first book, so no, no one company want to take my book because they think it's much rather book, nobody buy it. So, but uh, I really want to publish my book. So my mom phoned me, my mom told me, my son, you got money, don't worry. If you want to do something you love to do, mom will help you. I said, how do you got money? My mom said, before you send, send, me to, send me the money, I always keep for you. I know you have big heart, you know, you, you always give something to, to other people. You, know, you never save money, so I'm worried you. When you want to do things, you, you never have money to, to do it. Ah. My mom died from a heart attack. My father also died from a heart attack. When they passed away, I'm not here. I didn't see them. Sometimes I'm really angry with myself because, yes, I do something I love to do, but I never spend time with my family. In China, every time you go to park, you see old people training. You know, most people, the old people training, you see the young people, they sleep. The old people, they know the time is limited. And young people, they think they got a lot of time. You know, time took so fast if we don't push it. You know, some people say, I got a dream, you know, I really want to do it. But when the, when the real opportunity comes, they can't take because they don't have enough courage. They don't have a dream, they just dream for dream. But your head don't make sense. You have to use your hands, use your feet to make things happen. Your mind cannot make things happen. Doesn't matter how, how much you're thinking, if you don't put action, nothing happens. I want my students or my people follow me. I want you to do the exercise, to help your life, you know, to make you have strong mind. I think it will make your life easier and better. Good. Thank <laughs> you.